Here's your fresh lemonade. Thank you, and um, uh, sweetie, you left the sprinkler on. Oh, my bad, Mom. I'll turn it off in a sec. Honey, the sprinkler is wasting water. It's best if you turn it off now. I'll go eat first, then turn it off. Thanks, Mari. I was about to do it myself. It's all good. Milo, leaving the sprinkler on could lead to improper water usage. Next time, turn it off once you're done. I got it, Mama. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Good, because even just leaving the sprinklers on for more time than you're using it for could lead to horrible aftermath. Aftermath? Like what? It can lead to less water accessibility for other communities, especially in places where water shortages are recurrent. Almost one-fifth of the population deals with lack of water and one-tenth of people don't have clean water near their homes. This could mean that people aren't able to drink water they are being given and people are exposed to diseases that can affect their health. How can we help? I want to give people water. Well, you can't just give out water just cause. Well, I mean you can, but it just takes a lot more than that to help people. You can donate to nonprofit organizations that use their funds to help big communities, for example, Water Aid and Water First. They help provide households with clean water supply, while some organizations like The Last Well help make water closer to big neighborhoods in need of clean water. I see, but how do they get the water? Why don't they just make it? They can't make water. It comes from rivers and it gets there from rain. But the organizations take that river water and filter it so it's clean for us to drink. So you can't make water? Nope, but you can make it drinkable. If you put it like that, yes. Wow, that's pretty cool. Indeed it is. Now let's eat before the bees get to our food. Yep, let's eat. <laughs>